Vitalik Buterin, the founder of Ethereum, has just tipped the next pump. And we just found a low-cap gem that is providing this exact solution. Welcome to The Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. This episode of The Bean Pod is sponsored by BitGet. BitGet is the most user-friendly and secure crypto trading platform for both beginners and experienced traders. BitGet is the best place to not only trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also all the small cap gems that we discuss every day. With 24 seven customer support, leverage trading, and a wide array of other advanced features, BitGet sets itself apart from every other centralized exchange. Through Beanstalk's official partnership with BitGet, you'll receive 15% off all trading fees when you sign up using the referral link in the description. All views expressed by speakers on the BeanPod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the BeanPod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. And this is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today, we're going to be talking about how the founder of Ethereum, Vitalik Buterin, has just previewed the next massive pump. And we're going to show you a small cap altcoin that is working on the exact solution. Pay attention. Vitalik Buterin just tweeted something very important. And if you read between the lines... He revealed essentially the only project that is utilizing this new standard for Ethereum. For sure. It's something known as ERC4337. It's a protocol that's going to make your life, our life, and everybody's life in crypto much, much, much easier. For sure. I mean, we're, we're sitting in a very important part of, you know, crypto adoption. We have a massive inflow of retail investors that are about to flood in. We have institutions here. We have everything. But when you look at places that people are storing their crypto and whether it's hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars, whatever, you know, the fact that we're still storing our crypto mostly in the same ways that we were three, four, five, seven, eight years ago, you know, you set up this, this MetaMask, for example, and then you have your private keys and, you know, you're storing God knows how much money in there or crypto. And it's just this backwards way. There's, there's no 2FA, There's no links to any of your social, you know, I get the whole anonymous decentralization, but at a certain point, if you want to onboard the masses, you need to make changes and improvements to all of these potential issues. That's why we think this project is such a gem. Absolutely. I couldn't, you couldn't have said that any better. Like we're talking about the future of finance and here we are having to write down a 12 word seed phrase and store it underneath our beds. (laughs) (laughs) It's ridiculous. Yeah. You know, I'm talking to friends, trying to get them into like BitTensor, for example. They have a hard enough time getting onto a centralized exchange and swapping some USDT for a tap. Yeah. Let alone writing down some seed phrase uh, and trying to add the Binance network and the Ethereum network, all these things, going on to Uniswap. It's complicated shit, man. It's ridiculous. And then (laughs) the other thing too is when you go to hit like max swap, but use all your Ethereum, but you need Ethereum for gas right. and it doesn't go through and you keep spending money on these <laughs> failed trades. Yeah. Not yeah. to mention the security aspect. The security, that's the huge thing. Because again, you know, again, say you have thousands of dollars or whatever in your MetaMask or whatever wallet you use, Trust Wallet, and you click on the wrong link. You're going to get hacked without you even knowing it. All of your stuff is going to get sent. There's no 2FA, no like sent to your email, um, number sent to your SMS, whatever. You know, there has to be some sort of security. It's like, oh, did you mean to transfer out $10,000 to this random wallet? Click no. Yeah. Boom. Life saved. Versus you wake up in the morning, go into your MetaMask, and all your, all your money's gone. <laughs> you didn't even know. Yeah. Right? So that's where, the, that's where this new standard comes in, this 4337 for the ERC standard, because the wallet setup is super simple. No seed phrase needed. This project is this... This project that we're, we're talking about today is using this ERC4337. Yeah, the timing is perfect. Um, user-friendly wallet functions, worry-free account recovery. So, like, let's say you lose your, your seed phrase, which you don't need for this. You can easily garnish your um, account back through Google or through Apple or through a verified friends list, list that you provided ahead of time. For so, sure. you can actually recover your funds if yeah. needed. 
I mean, look, we, we basically just laid out all of these problems that are existent in today's Ethereum and crypto ecosystem as a whole. And the timing is perfect because, as we said, Vitalik Buterin has just brought this to light again. Typically, when he talks about a narrative, it, it comes to fruition. So the project we're going to unveil today is literally solving all of these issues. It's improving the user experience, the security, just basically getting crypto ready for mass adoption. And it is sitting at a very small market cap. The name of the project is Creso Wallet. And, you know, we've both personally invested in this thing. Um, not only is it solving all these problems, not only does the app and the website or the, the beta version absolutely look amazing, but we're still very early to this because the apps aren't live yet, the extensions aren't live yet, and the team is building nonstop. Yeah. Obviously, they're building because they, they're they part of the NVIDIA developer program. They also are part of the Microsoft developer program. So they're working alongside to the massive tech giants to bring this to fruition. There's also a number of <clears throat> key elements that make this much more superior to Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, and MetaMask, yep. um, you know, in terms of revenue share, among other things. For sure. So yeah, check out this image that's going to flash up on the screen right now. When you compare the Creso Wallet to MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, whatever, first of all, what we just talked about, account recovery. Creso Wallet is the only one that's actually going to let you recover your account if you lose something. I mean, that to me is just an yeah. absolute no-brainer. Uh, obviously, you know, eventually Creso Wallet is going to be a mobile app on iOS and Android, which I cannot wait for. If you go onto their website and look at the beta version, just the design. You can tell a team is, you know, we see a lot of projects in crypto. We can tell when teams are slacking on design. They're just kind of getting projects out there. The Creso team, they are very, very sharp. This is going to be a sleek mobile app. Then it comes to gasless transactions, right? So as you just mentioned, the issue with Ethereum. With Creso Wallet, you're actually going to be able to use native tokens for gas. So you're never going to run into the issue where it's like, oh, yeah, spent all my Ethereum. Guess I have to find some other account and transfer Ethereum in. Yeah, so it's like, let's say you want to transfer some OPSEC. You want to swap for that. You would use, so it's in your wallet, but you, you'll end up using the native token, which is OPSEC for the gas versus needing to hold Ethereum to make the swaps. Mm -hmm. And another huge thing, and, and you can, you'll probably notice this if you follow the show, that a lot of the projects we've invested in lately are offering one thing, and that is revenue sharing. So with Creso, they're actually going to be offering revenue sharing to all of the token holders. The token is CRE. So again, if you think like we do, that the Creso wallet could be the potential long-term winner in onboarding masses to crypto, you can only imagine how much revenue that Creso is going to be pulling in. If you're a Creso holder, boom, you're going to be you know enjoying the spoils with a revenue share of Creso. Though. That, for me, huge tick. Are we seeing any revenue share right now from any of the other wallets? Nope. <laughs> yeah, so, like, so we're getting better security with 2FA. We're getting gasless transactions and a number of other benefits from this wallet. Yep. This, you know, seedless, we, you know, account recovery, all these things. For sure. How much better is this for onboarding the masses? Yeah. Because now I can, you know, let's say I, my, I get my girlfriend into this. She can easily have the wallet when the mobile version comes out and then connect to Google. Like we sign in for everything else. Yep. Boom. She's in. That's it. For one, sure. one time password. Simple. Yeah. I mean, this this is a solution that's needed to be built for a long time. I think Creso is finally going to be the company to massively disrupt MetaMask, Trust Wallet, all these old school wallets that are just not built for what we need to see mass adoption. And then, yeah, look, we, we mentioned it. It's still early. So let's take a look at the roadmap of Creso and why we think, personally, obviously not financial advice, but why we bought Creso. What's the market cap around like 50, 60 million? 56. I yeah. mean, if you think about how much potential this has, look at the roadmap. So Q1, which we're currently sitting in now, we've got the beta web app launch. They're going to be continually, continually making enhancements to the web app. Then they're going to be rolling out the Google Chrome extension. So for all of the people that are trading crypto on their uh, laptops or desktops, you're going to be able to try out the Creso extension. And then when you look further into the year, Q2 and beyond, we have, boom, mobile app. That's going to be out on Android and iOS. They're going to be partnering with all kinds of layer ones. And um, yeah, I mean, what we try to do in this show is find projects before the masses start talking about them. When Creso actually launches their mobile apps and their extensions and people start using this thing and realize how much better it is, that's when I think the eyeballs could really start to pile in. Yeah, I think <clears throat> looking forward to May of Q2, that is honestly like the moment that you should really be keeping your eye on because they, that's when they do have the mobile app, but it's multi-chain multi integration. 
and also the NFT in- integration. Mm. I think, you know, the NFT side of things will be a bit better when it comes to like the tokenization of real world assets and those other components. For sure. Um, I will be transitioning from MetaMask to this wallet once it rolls out. 100%. Because honestly, I, I hate MetaMask <laughs> with fucking passion. Yeah. It's the time has come for a company to build a, a you know, a wallet to disrupt MetaMask. And again, you need to have a superior product, a, a far superior product. Typically, the rule in like startups and business is something has to be 10 times easier for um, people to switch, like companies, and that applies to any industry. And when you look at the way that Creso is doing it, I think that they could have this product that is actually 10 times better than MetaMask. Again, all of our friends that are going to be coming into crypto, they want to be like, oh, I just want to log in with my Gmail, Boom. my Facebook. Yeah. MetaMask is so confusing, even it for is. crypto experts. Yeah. So it's just... The writing is on the wall, and then we, you know, we kind of knew this, and we've we've been this this project has been on our radar for a little bit. But it was that Vitalik Buterin tweet. He literally said, "Look, ERC, what's the number again? Four three three seven. Four three three seven. This is the future." We're like, man, we knew it. This yeah. is exactly it. So when Vitalik Buterin comes out, that confirms our thesis that this is the future of crypto and Ethereum wallets. Creso Wallet is by far the best looking wallet in our opinion. It has a token at a low market cap. For us, it was a no-brainer to personally invest. Yeah, I think, look, word's about to get out. Now that he said it, and that's it. And it's obviously solving a massive problem, and it's going to help onboard the masses. Yeah, 100%. So let's uh, let's look forward to to seeing Creso actually execute on their stacked roadmap for the rest of 2024. We will continue to update you on the project, um, jump into the Discord, follow us on socials for anything else. If you have any questions about Creso, let us know in the comments. And then make sure you guys tune into the next episode. Because that one is going to be a banger. All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only.